testing, testing, testing. Here, my testing, 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 testing. Okay, should be fine then. Maybe it's the the, the noise in the whole world.
Is that all right, Nigel? Sorry, uh, but I, this is not the... Uh, uh Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the parish church of St. Peter and St. Paul Abington. My name is Father Jun Kim, and I'm the rector of this parish. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all this afternoon and to the wedding of Amelia and Grant. We're going to begin our service in a few moments. But before we begin, a few points of housekeeping. First, if you need to use the facilities, then they are on your left-hand side beyond the wooden door, and you will find a baby changing station there. Behind you, there is the tower room, which is occupied currently by the bell ringers, but it's actually a room for the children and, and the parents. So if your children get a bit bored or, or, or if you get stressed by your child crying, by the way, I don't mind children crying at all. But if, you, if you get stressed, then you can use the tower room. It is a soundproofed room, but you will be able to hear everything through the PA system. In case of fire, please make your way to the nearest door and the fire assembly point is at the back of the church. 
If you wish during the service, you may take photographs during the service, although we have two professional photographers here. But please do so in a way that wouldn't interrupt the service or others. And please may I remind you to put your mobile phones on silence mode if you haven't done so yet to save any embarrassment. After the final blessing, the couple will have their first march as a husband and wife. They will, they will stand and take a pause right here where I stand right now. And when they take the pause, please do feel free to give them a warm round of applause and take a photographs of them. During the service, there is a few parts where you are invited to respond. If you look at the order of service, you can see the words printed in bold. For example, if you look at the preface and declaration part, the first page of order of service, I will be asking, no, I will be saying the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And then you are all invited to say by, by saying and also with you. So this is to assure Amelia and Grant that you are here to support them. And during the later part of the service, we'll be praying for the couple, and I will be leading the prayer. And during the prayer, when I say, Lord of life and love, then please respond by saying, hear our prayer. Any questions? If not, then I'll come see you in a, in a, in a, in a few moments.
Good afternoon and very warm welcome to the parish church of St. Peter and St. Paul Abington and to the marriage of Amelia and Grant. People have been coming here for many generations to mark their important occasions of life. We are here today, the family and friends of Amelia and Grant, to show them our love and support, to witness them exchanging their marriage vows, to pray for them, to ask God's blessing on their future life together. It is, my script says, it's pouring outside, but it's actually not pouring. It's just a little bit of drizzle. So, so it's much better than I, than, I, than I predicted, which is the grace of God. It's raining outside, ladies and gentlemen, but I do believe that the, this rain is the rain of grace, rain of love, rain of blessing as we pour out our love and blessings upon these two lovely people. So who cares about the weather? What matters is these two people are here together in love for each other, and we all are here together in support for them. And God is here with us. And those who couldn't join us physically are also here with us in spirit and tuning in through the live streaming. It is indeed a good day for it is the people and their hearts that bring joy and happiness into time and space, not weather, not the plan. And so we are here in the presence of our loving God. So now let us begin this wedding with a prayer. God is love, and those who live in love live in God. God lives in them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. God of wonder and of joy, grace comes from you, and you alone are the source of life and love. Without you, we cannot please you. Without lo your love, our deeds are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, that we may worship you now with thankful hearts and serve you always with willing minds through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So as we stand, let us sing our first hymn, All My Hope on God is Founded.
the preface of the marriage. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Familia and Grant to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus was himself a guest at the wedding in Cana of Galilee and through his spirit he is with us now. The Bible teaches us that marriage is a gift of God in creation and the means of His grace, a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with His church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may comfort and help each other living faithfully together in need and in plenty, in sorrow and in joy. It is given that with delight and tenderness they may know each other in love and through the joy of their bodily union may strengthen the union of their hearts and lives. It is given as the foundation of family life in which children may be born and nurtured in accordance with God's will to His praise and glory. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another and they begin a new life together in the community. It is a way of life that all should honor, and it must not be take, undertaken carelessly, lightly, or selfishly, but reverently, responsibly, and after serious thoughts. This is the way of life created and hallowed by God that Amelia and Grant are now to begin. They will each give their consent to the other. They will join hands and exchange solemn vows, and in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. Therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray with them that strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill His purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. First, I am required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. I ask this to the couple. The vows you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. <laughs> I ask this to you, Grant. Grant, will you take Amelia to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Amelia, I ask the same question to you. Amelia, will you take Grant to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. I will. I ask this to the congregation gathered today. Will you, the families and friends of Amelia and Grant, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come? Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, from the beginning you have blessed creation with abundant life. Pour out your blessings upon Amelia and Grant, that they may be joined in mutual love and companionship, in holiness and commitment to each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please do be seated for the reading. Let me put it this way by Simon Armitage. Let me put it this way. If you came to lay your sleeping head against my arm or sleeve, and if my arm went dead, or if I had to take my leave at midnight, I should rather cleave it from the joint or seam than make a seam 
or bring you round. There. How does that sound? May I invite now Ruth to read a passage from the scripture. Listen, my beloved, look, here he comes, leaping across the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall gazing through the windows, peering through the lattice. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth, the season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit, the blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. My dove in the clefts of the rock, in the hiding places on the mountainside, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyards, our vineyards that are in bloom. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He browses among the lilies until the day breaks and the shadows flee. Turn, my beloved, and be like a gazelle or like a young stag on the rugged hills. May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before I say a few words, we have a very special person who is with us, not physically, but thanks to the mighty electronic technology, who is with us, and of course who is in spirit. Uh, it's Amelia's granny, and she sent a video message to Amelia and Grant. Let us hear from Hi. Margaret. Hello, Amelia and Grant. I but hope you have a lovely let's hear day. Let's it again. I'd love to be... Okay. Let's pause Hello, the video. Hello, Amelia and Grant. Let's rewind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello, Hello, Amelia, Amelia and, Grant. and Grant. I hope I you hope have, have a lovely, lovely day. day. I'd have, I'd loved, have loved, loved to have been, been there, there with you, but it's not proved to be possible. possible. Everyone, Everyone has done their, their very, very best, best to get me there, there, there but we run, run out of options. options. So, so I, I, I hope that I can give you my love, love of every, every wish, wish by, by video. video. Much, love much love and best, and best wishes of the future. future. Hope to hope see you soon. soon. Much, much love, love, Granny. Granny. Margaret, thank you, and we send our, our love to you, and we hope to see you soon. Amelia and Grant, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you both on coming to this point. You have been together for many, many years, and through those years, you have seen some few things, to say the least, and one of them is the global pandemic. You've shared with each other love, joy, hope, but also challenges and sorrows. And through those years, God has been walking alongside you every step of the way, deepening your relationship, strengthening your love to each other. And he has brought you both to this day, to this point at which you become one as husband and wife in God's grace. When we 
think about marriage or married life, we tend to only think about the love of the two people to each other. But it's not just the two people. The parents, friends, grandparents, everyone has been involved in this love. It's, uh, it's in a way a public matter, which is why we are all here to celebrate publicly their love and their marriage. The Bible agrees with us. It tells us that marriage is not just based on the love of the two individuals, but ultimately is given as a gift to us, as a sign of God's love. According to the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, in the beginning God created the heaven and earth and everything in it, including Adam, the first human being. The Bible says when God created everything, He said, it is really good. But there was one thing missing. God saw Adam, and He saw him on His own, being on His own. And God said, oh, this is not so good that Adam is alone. So He created Eve, woman, and made them husband and wife. Marriage is not just about chemical activities in our brain, nor is about social convention or law. There is something much more precious and sacred in it. It is about God reminding us of His love through another human being who shares the whole life with me. When Adam and Eve were married to each other by God himself as husband and wife, that didn't mean that everything was smooth and easy and according to the perfect plan. And we all know that in every marriage or in every relationship, there is a point where things are not going as we planned or as we hoped for, where we feel our patience, our strength is tested. But God never said that this journey of marriage would be easy. But He did say it would be worthwhile. And He did promise to us that we are not alone on that journey. Amelia Grant, it, is, it was in God's love and grace where your relationship began. And it is in the same love and grace where your new married life begins today. The same love in which you were created, nurtured, nourished and sustained so far. The same love that will always remain with you in good times and hard times, in life and even beyond death. The same love that Jesus showed on his cross and through his resurrection. You two are brought together in this abundant and unconditional love of God. Many things will be said in this service. I have said many things already. Many people have said many things about marriage. But I would like you to remember just this one thing and one thing only. Never stop loving each other. The charms of our body will fade. No matter how many hours you put into at the gym, it will eventually fade. Money will come and go. It will come and go. I know. I, I, I look at my bank account and oh, it, will, it comes and go. Where is all the money? The cleverness of mind will diminish. No ma I know you both are very smart people, and, but no matter how smart you are or I am or we all are, our brains will eventually age and diminish. But love, love will last forever. Love will remain forever in life, even beyond death. Because love belongs to God. 
This is what you are about to commit each other. To not to stop loving each other. For that is what God wants for you. For that is what everyone here wants for you. And by doing so, you will honor God and honor your loved ones. You can make mistakes. You can misunderstand. You can say wrong things. You can choose to be married on a rainy day. But who cares about the weather or money or body if you love each other? God will always dwell in your hearts and in your relationship. And in Him, you can do anything. You can overcome anything. I hope and pray that you will have a long and happy marriage May God bless you both richly on this special day and always. Amen. Amen. And now I invite you to come forward and the best man and Damien. May I ask, who brings this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> Amelia and Grant, now I invite you to join hands and make your vows in the presence of God and his people. Turn to each other. You need to sort out the dress. Please repeat after me, Grant. I grant, take you, Amelia. I grant, take you, Amelia. To be my wife. Be my wife. To have and to hold. Have and to hold. From this day forward. This day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. Richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. love and to cherish till death us do part till death us do part according to God's holy law according to God's holy law in the presence of God I make this vow in the presence of God I make this vow Amelia please repeat after me I Amelia take you grant I Amelia take you grant To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. Have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Amelia and Grant, a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
please repeat after me. Amelia, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Repeat after me, Amelia, please. Grant, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. join your hands all together. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Amelia and Grant have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that their husband and wife Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us give a round of applause to Amelia and Grant. Blessing of the marriage. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, for you have created joy and gladness, pleasure and delight, love, peace and fellowship. Pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Amelia and Grant in their new life together. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship. Awake. and asleep, in joy and in sorrow, in life and in death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that banquet where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless God. preserve and keep you the lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace that you may please him both in body and soul and living together in faith and love may receive the blessings of eternal life amen Where, may i invite you to stand if you are able sing our second hymn in Christ alone after the hymn please to be seated while the couple is signing the marriage registrars and the witnesses and those who are involved are invited to come to the lady chapel and during that time the choir will sing so we sing our second hymn in Christ alone
We're now going to pray together. So when I say Lord of life and love, please respond saying, hear our prayer. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Faithful God, holy and eternal, source of life and spring of love, we thank and praise you for bringing Melia and Grant to this day, and we pray for them. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May their marriage be life-giving and lifelong, enriched by your presence and strengthened by your grace. May they bring comfort and confidence to each other in faithfulness and trust. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May the hospitality of their home bring refreshment and joy to all around them. May their love overflow to neighbors in need and embrace those in distress. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May they discern in your word order and purpose for their lives. And may the power of your Holy Spirit lead them in truth and defend them in adversity. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May they always encourage each other and come at last to the end of their lives with hearts content and in joyful anticipation of heaven. Lord of life and love. Hear our prayer. So let us bring all our prayers together into this one prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil thine is the kingdom power and the glory forever and ever amen please stand if you are able to sing our final hymn
God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.